help you guys. Okay, so it's mid July. Life update. I mean, nothing has really happened ever since March. And COVID took over the world. This sofa right here and my bed has been <laughs> day and night. I mean, I tried working out, didn't work out. I still feel sick right now. It's just. Ugh, which explains why I have been laying on this sofa my whole time since March. Yeah, I'm watching Melissa Flores, by the way. Um, but I decided to like jump on here because I'm feeling okay right now and just give you a little bit of life update and what's going on. I made over my table finally because that ugly, ugly, ugly brown table was like driving me crazy. I got a new... Um, desk chair which I love it's super comfy and it's perfect for when I edit my videos I love the gold detail on the bottom super cute I got it at Wayfair if you guys are interested I can put the link down below back to me not feeling well and feeling sick and having nausea and just like not knowing why well, I will tell you guys why now. Because I'm pregnant. Yeah, you guys, me and my husband and my daughter Brianna, we are expecting another baby. It's so weird because it's been 18 years since I had baby like my daughter Brianna now it's 18 so it's like starting over but with experience and now I know what do I what is it that I have to do so I'm super excited for it because my husband and I have been wanting a baby for a while now and it's finally here I'm a few months now and that is why I have been so sick I haven't filmed as often as I do and it's just, I can't wait till this nausea and these symptoms go away so I can start enjoying my belly, start filming again, and you know, be a little bit more productive and start going out to work out again, even though the gyms are still not open. But there's people working out in fields, and I just want to feel a little bit normal. And yeah, that's just why I'm out of breath. If you see one of my videos where I'm building, this chair you could tell that I run out of air and that's because I already knew I was pregnant and yeah I'm so excited so now you guys know super excited I haven't told no one yet only my family knows so I think I might be having a gender reveal I still don't know what I'm gonna be ha I still don't know what I'm having which which is scary, exciting, but um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know, I might just have my sister over and my little niece and my brother-in-law because my parents are in Florida. They'll be coming home soon, but then they have to quarantine so they can't be around. Maybe I'll just like video chat with them. <laughs> but yeah, you could tell this has been my friend. But yeah, you guys felt like I had to jump here and tell you okay I was outside yeah I do have a top I have a, a bathing suit on don't think I'm out here naked I was outside tanning it's too hot to go to the beach you know those days that it's just like too hot to be at the beach because you suffocate and there's like no air that's today so I was planning to go on the beach but I said no it's too hot it's there's like a heat advisory so sorry I almost dropped you guys I I decided not to go I know it's just gonna be miserable and sweaty and even though I get inside the water it's just it's not comfortable to be at the beach so I, I went outside to the porch and I tanned for a little bit jumped on the treadmill because I like to do my 30 minutes of walking either outside or on the treadmill so I did that I drink this thing in a day 
It's only 12 o'clock, you guys, and I'm almost done with it. That's how hot it is outside, which is good. I'll probably have two of these today. But yeah, it's Saturday. I don't think we're going anywhere. I mean, there's nowhere to go, and it's too hot to be outdoors. It's like that disgusting. In here in New York, it's just like disgusting, muggy, hot, and it's just like there's no air. It's not like California weather. California weather has perfect weather. It's hot, but it's not suffocating hot, you know? Um, yeah. I'm four months pregnant already. Time is going by so quickly. I'm, I'm still having morning sickness, which is not, I don't know why they call it morning sickness because I don't get it in the morning. Usually I'm very active and very energetic, especially now. Like my once I enter my four, fourth month, like I feel more energy. But my symptoms come at night. At nighttime. And it's just like oh, the smell sometimes I could be totally normal and then all of a sudden I can't even talk about it because I feel like I smell something and then I get nauseous see I can't even speak about it but this is the belly let me see if I can show you my belly let's see how my belly looks now. this is at four months it's not that big but it's not yeah I mean this is it's not big but it's a belly um, let's see what happens. Let's see how big I'm gonna grow. I don't know. But I feel like I was like that with Brianna too. Like I wasn't big throughout the first seven months. But once I hit eight, nine in the last month, I got big. So let's see what happens. I don't know what my body's going to look like during pregnancy and after pregnancy so all I care about to be honest with you all I care about is labor and delivery like I don't care what my body is going to look like after like obviously I'll work out after I have the baby but I'm just so worried about the delivery like I just want this baby to like send it out because that's the only thing I care about. <sighs> Don't mind me. Just got up. I went to check out the mail and I got special delivery. So, remember I told you guys I wasn't sure what I was going to do for my gender reveal? Well, I thought maybe I could do some cupcakes. So instead of cutting into a cake, do, you know, cupcakes. And then everybody could find out at the same time once they buy the cupcakes. So I saw these really cute cupcake toppers on Etsy. They're called Confetti Mama. And um, they have like all different types of like toppers and different accessories. So check them out. They have really cute things. Let's see what they look like. And I thought this was really cute. See, I think there's two. Oh. like gold it's so cute by the way I already have my results but I haven't checked oh, they're so cute look at that all right the ones and the pink ones so cute is that so these will go on the top of the cupcake it's like a glittery like a little pink or blue bow not scared but like anxious and like happy it's just like all these different type of like mixed emotions and I really want to find out if it's a boy or girl I kind of want to know like once I give birth like a surprise like it's a boy or it's a girl but then I want to go shopping so I can't go all shopping if I don't know if it's a boy or girl so that's what makes me want to find out with quarantine and all that. It kind of like, I can't really have like a big, you know, gender reveal thing, but 
I think I'm just gonna have my sister over. Maybe I'll wait two weeks because my parents are already over from Florida. And then have them over, but can I wait two weeks? I don't know. I don't know if I can wait two weeks. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's Monday. It's gonna be so bad the whole week. So maybe Friday's the next nice the next nice day. <sighs> so maybe I'll wait till Friday. I don't know. Hi. Good morning. Well, today was supposed to be my gender reveal, but the weather said mm -mm. it ain't happening today, girl. Look at that. What? No. I was supposed to have something nice outside on the porch. Go out to the beach and take some pictures. But no. It's supposed to rain till like 4 o'clock. I was supposed to go to the beach around 7 30 once the sun goes out takes nice pictures my sister was my sister is the only one coming over she was gonna come like around seven o'clock and i was gonna have you know something nice out there and then we're gonna have you know we're gonna find out what the gender of the baby is not cooperating so i don't know what to do i don't know if to postpone it for tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be beautiful sunny but saturday the beach is probably gonna be packed i don't really want to do that um i don't know let's see let's wait till four or five o'clock to see what we do i have no idea my luck oh my god guys the cupcakes are here First, they're smashed because my husband drove it over here. He just drives like a maniac. Look, squished. Look. Alright, so I'm gonna put them in this tray. Like, I'm gonna put them on this tray and then. 